The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Cute platform games are a well-proven formula for success. And while there was an abundance of them back in the 80s, System 3 came up with a game which relied on a well-worn theme, but knocked the spots off any competition at the time of its release. A game so cute that the bottom of your stomach will touch the roof of your mouth in an effort to empty its contents. The hero of this piece, Flimbo, is quite a stocky little chap in a baseball cap. His huge head and round eyes make him look like one of the characters from Japanese comic strips. Your task is to enter the grounds of Dandruff Manor and rescue your kidnapped girlfriend, Pearly, from the clutches of the wicked Von Dandruff. Dandruff's never been such a serious problem, and something tells me it's going to take more than a bottle of head and shoulders. I didn't know you had dandruff. I don't. What this quest entails is hopping around between platforms, shooting and avoiding enemies in a way you've seen in many other games before this. What you haven't seen in many games is the attention to detail in both backgrounds and sprites, and the quality of the animation. The cuteness factor of all the sprites goes right off the top of the scale, but if you can't already tell, some of the creatures are pretty strange. The game is divided into several parts, each of which has to be conquered if you are to reach Pearly in time. Time is the operative word here, and the seconds are constantly ticking away, so you can't afford to wander about aimlessly. Your target on each level is to collect scrolls with the component letters of a magic word that transports you to the next level. This is done by searching for a particular type of creature, indicated on the status panel at the bottom of the screen. The scrolls must then be taken back to the shop each time you've found one, and here you can also spend some of the cash you've earned by killing Von Dandruff's creatures. Also, you can obtain cash from treasure rooms, access through secret entrances. Inside these, bonus money can be made by collecting the rotating coins in the correct order. Hmm, this reminds me of another game. Extra firepower is available if you have a little cash, or for more extravagant amounts you can buy more time, an additional letter, or even the whole magic word. The nice thing about Flimbo's quest is that any of these bonuses may also appear randomly when you shoot a particular creature, which can help you complete the word if you're lucky enough to find the missing letters. Bonuses can also be had in the form of hearts, which, provided you have collected enough, will endow you with an extra life. As with the scrolls, these are stored in the shop. Finally, what makes Flimbo's quest worth recommending is its playability. The degree of control you have over Flimbo is superb. Yes, it might not have the graphical appeal of the Amiga version, but considering the limitations of the hardware, it is still superb, with all of the elements of gameplay found in this version too. This was quite a departure for System 3. A game without ninjas or machine guns, but a well-received one. As you'd expect of System 3, there's plenty of nice touches, like the Bomb Jack style part in the treasure rooms. Despite not being written by the same team as Hawkeye, Flimbo shares the same style, albeit with better graphics. The backgrounds are superbly detailed. It's easy to become distracted just admiring their excellence. Gameplay is fun, with the time limit and wimpy gun forcing you to dodge aliens as much or more than you blast them. Flimbo's Quest also had the dubious honour of being one of the pack-in games for the ill-fated Commodore 64GS console, and came on a cartridge along with three other games. Commodore eventually shipped the four-game cartridge and Cheetah Annihilator joysticks in a playful intelligence bundle with the standard Commodore 64C computer. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and let me know what you thought of Flimbo's Quest in the comment section. Well, another great game covered, and many, many more to come. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to follow me on this epic journey revisiting classic Commodore games just like this. 
Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye for now. Are you